Bye everyone. If I'm not yet subscribed to my channel, kindly touch the red subscribe button. Also touch the notification bell so you'll be notified when I have a new video. Also share this video. God bless you. Good morning everyone. In this video, I'm going to be praying for 2020. Hallelujah. Right now on my knees, I'm going, to, I'm going to pray kneeling down. Praise God. I believe we should need that to pray this prayer. Hallelujah. The Bible says in the book of Luke 22, 41, that Jesus Christ kneels down to pray. Hallelujah. Praise the Lord. And I know you can pray sitting down. You can pray lying down. But this one, we choose to kneel to pray for 2020. Right now, my knees. Hallelujah. Praise the Lord. Thank you, Jesus. God is so good. Hallelujah. We don't just first of all thank God for his goodness. Hallelujah. I know that um, already uh, I spent time on Facebook Live yesterday, which I also shared on my YouTube. Singing and thanking God because he's so good. For 2020, I spent time thanking God. I know some of you were live with me to thank God. Oh, God is so good. But this morning, let's thank him again. From January to December, each day of it, he was with us. Let's thank him again this morning. Father God, we thank you for 2019 that, that is running up. Father, we thank you for being with us, for supporting us, for helping us. Thank you, Lord, for strengthening us, for providing for us, for saving us from evil, for saving us from danger, for all you did in 2019. And now you brought us to this day when we are about to enter 2020. We are so grateful. Thank you, living God. We appreciate you. We love you. On our knees this morning, we come before you. Hallelujah to your name. God be highly exalted. Be highly praised, O oh God. Thank you, Father. We cannot thank you enough for what you've done for us. We cannot thank you enough. We don't have enough words to thank you. If we have mouth all over our bodies, so we have to say thank you, God. God, we are grateful. We appreciate all you've done for us. The one, the battles you fought for us, the one we saw, what we did not even see. Lord, we say thank you. Thank you. How many can we say? Oh, thank you, Father. You've done so much. Oh, in Jesus' name. Thank you, Lord. Amen. We can't thank him enough. We can't thank him enough. Hallelujah. If we have mouth all of our bodies. So enough for us to thank him. Oh, hallelujah. Let's learn to thank him and worship him every day. Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. Now we're going to start prayers. We're going to bring before God 2020. Hallelujah. 2020 has a lot. Hallelujah. It's us. And we have a lot. We hold for it. We should control it. If we don't control it, it's going to give you what it holds. But we can control and take what we, what we desire, what we want from it, not just what it delivers to us. Praise God. That's why we are here today on our knees to pray. To be on your knees is not a joke. Hallelujah. To, because sometimes your knees might pay you and all that, but you know, it's just a, a humble way of coming to God because He's the only hope, He's our, he's our only trust. We, have, we don't have another one. It's a humble way of coming. Praise God. Hallelujah. We're going to be on our knees. Hallelujah. Praise the Lord. 2020. Hallelujah. Oh, we're going to pray for every month, for every day. Hallelujah. Let's, the Bible says in the book of 1 John 14, it says, that is the confidence we have in him, that we will pray according to his will, that he heareth us. Amen. We're going to pray according to his will today, and we know he hears us. Hallelujah. And verse 15 says, because we know this, I hear that means we also have the petitions that we ask for him. Praise God. Thank you, Jesus. We're going to start by praying for the for the for those notoriety, for all men, for kings. First Timothy 2 2 says we should pray for all men. We should make petitions, come with thanksgiving, supplication for all men, for those notoriety, for kings that we may live a quiet and peaceable life. Let's start praying. Let's pray. For all men, for kings, for those authorities, let's pray for them. Yes, the Bible says, 
that, uh, in Jeremiah 29, verse 7, that we should pray for where, where the God has, has, has sent us. Where anyway you had a God has sent you. It says in Elzai, but we're not in Elzai, but he said we pray for that place wherever you are, for the for the place to prosper. He said, then you also will prosper. When you, when you are, it's okay, then you will be okay. So God said we should pray for our, our, what we are, our nation. So now I'm going to pray for all men, for kids, for those in authority, for our nation. Wherever you are, pray for that nation to prosper, then you also will prosper. Let's start praying. 2020. Father God in heaven, in the name of Jesus, we pray for 2020. We put it in your able hands, oh God. Father, we come before you. You said in your word that we practice your will. You will hear us, oh God. That's why we come today on our knees to pray. For 2020, we put it, 2020, we put it in your able hands, oh God. 2020 is not a surprise to you. It's not a surprise to you. Know everything in it, oh God. But we have to come in prayer, oh God. We pray for those in authorities. Pray to worry, oh God. For kings, we pray, oh God, that we, that, we, that we do things according to the will of God. We pray, oh God, that we not yield to ungodly cancer. That we not yield to devilish cancer. That we yield, oh God, to your word. That we yield your will in the name of Jesus. In making decisions for our nations. We pray those in authorities. Those, Father God, that, that we yield, oh God, to your word. That we not make decisions. That will, that will bring down the the, the, the the gospel. They will not make decisions that will kill people. They will not make decisions that will imprison people. For that God, they will not make decisions that will cause people not to be able to get the what they want to survive, oh God. But oh God, we pray that our spirit will take over in 2020. Take over our kings, our presidents, our governors, our leaders, our administrators. They always going to take over their heart, for the heart of kings are in your hands, oh God. And you turn it wherever you will, oh God. That we pray, our spirit, to take over their hearts. That God, they will, they will do things that will bring peace to the nations. They will do things that will bring health to their people. They will do things that will bring joy to their people. In the name of Jesus. They will do things that will bring life to their people. In the name of Jesus. They will do things, oh God, that will make your gospel to go, to go further. Peaceably, oh God, in the name of Jesus. Do not do things that will bring war in the name of Jesus. That we, that we may live a quiet and peaceable life, oh God, in our nations. In our nations. Thank you, Father. Whatever nation you are, pray for your nation. The Bible says, without the nation where you are, you prosper, you also will prosper. We pray, oh God, for our nations. We pray for America. We pray for Nigeria. We pray for Japan. We pray, oh God, for for. All nations and continents, oh God, across the world, oh God, we pray for your blessing upon these nations. We pray, oh God, for your peace in this nation. Wherever you are, wherever city you are, wherever nation you are, wherever you are, cause just name it, name, call the names. I cannot name all of them. Just call, even though you, you call your village, call everyone and pray for the peace and prosperity of those places. In 2020, there'll be peace across the lands. In the name of Jesus. In 2020, there'll be joy in the lands. In the name of Jesus. Jesus, in 2020, there will be prosperity in our land. In the name of Jesus. Father God, a violence will be out of the street. In the name of Jesus. 2020 will be, will be joyful. Joyful year in our land. The most joyful we have ever had. In the name of Jesus. Pray for 2020. Pray for your nation. Pray for that. We pray. Pray for wherever you are, your city. Wherever you are, we pray, oh God, for our cities all over the world. For our nation, all over the world, we pray for every nook and corner all over the world. That your peace will reign. There will be no violence in 2020. In the name of Jesus. There will be no violence. In the name of Jesus. There will be no death. In the name of Jesus, there'll be Father, we will pray, there'll be peace in our cities, will be peace in our cities, the gospel will prevail in our cities. In every nook and corner of the world, we pray 2020 that the gospel will prevail. Thank you, Father. We'll live a quiet and peaceable life in 2020. In Jesus' name. Amen. Hallelujah. No, we're going to on our knees. I'm on my knees right now. Hallelujah. No, we're going to be praying. For 2020, 
We pray against sickness. The Bible says in the book of Isaiah 53, 5, it says, by his stripes we are healed. Let's pray for those that are sick and they'll be healed in 2020. That those that are well will remain well. In the name of Jesus, Father God, we pray. Oh, Mashatakaba Soto Bosakatakaba, twenty twenty, Lord, Barakatakaba Sontia. For those who God are sick, oh God, as they enter twenty twenty, they'll be healed. In the mighty name of Jesus, the healing power of God will come upon them and they'll be well. No matter what they are sick of, we don't care to know. We know that with God, all things are possible. In the name of Jesus, we pray for all those that are sick, oh God, all over the world. Father, we pray that you stretch your healing hands, oh God, right now as I pray. Touch them, touch them, heal them, heal them. But we did it before, we can do it again. The 2020, they'll, they'll be alive and healthy. They'll be healed from their sicknesses. In the name of Jesus Christ, heal all those that are sick of the word of God. Right now, as I pray, oh God, they already have touched them. In the name of Jesus, if anyone was watching me right now, God, I, that we're really asking to touch that one right now. And he's healed from cancer. That one is healed from cancer. That one is healed from diabetes. You are healed from high blood pressure. You are healed from all sicknesses. In the name of Jesus. Yes, by the stress of Christ, Isaiah 53 5, you are being healed and will remain healed. 2020 will not be sick. No sickness 2020. No sickness 2020. No cancer 2020. No cancer. No disease. Of what, whatsoever name. In the name of Jesus 2020. No diabetes. No death in 2020. In the name of Jesus Christ, by the stripes of Christ, we are be healed. We are made whole and walk in that health. Thank you, Father. Yes, in Jesus' name we have prayed. Amen. Mataka Basunti. Praise have been a year of health. In the name of Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. Hallelujah. Now we will pray every year so people lose loved ones. I praise God. May God of this happen. 2020, we don't lose our loved ones in the name of Jesus. You may have, may have lost loved one, ones in the past. That was in all things. Give thanks to God. But for future, we don't want it anymore. We pray for long life for our loved ones. Now we're going to pray. The Bible says that with long life, it will satisfy us. Hallelujah. And show us the salvation. We're going to pray for our loved ones for long life for ourselves. God, the queen that, that we live long, praise God. And the Bible says in the book Psalm 79, 11, it says, yeah, Lord, it says, yeah, the groaning for the prisoners, preserve those already condemned to die. We will not prevent to worry. We will live, our loved ones will live and not die. In the name of Jesus, those already condemned to die. Physically or wherever, wherever. Psalm 79, 11. Yet the crowd, the groans of the prisoners, preserve those already condemned to die. Let's pray that God will preserve those that are condemned to die already. 2020. In the name of Jesus. God will preserve them. We are condemned to die by sickness. Condemned to die by wherever. That God will preserve them. Our loved ones, our friends. Our children, our brethren in church, our, our will preserve them. Let's pray. In the name of Jesus, my soul to call Santa Shanta Kabosote. Father, we pray, like, oh God in heaven, with, that, with your strong hand, oh God, that you preserve any of our loved ones, our brethren, friend, our friends, and that are only condemned to die with, by sickness or by whatever means. Or by people, Father, preserve them, oh God, in the name of Jesus. Let them live. It was said that with long life, that's why us as your salvation. Father, let them live, Lord God. Preserve them with your strong hand, oh God. They will not die. They will live in the name of Jesus. I cancel accident in the name of Jesus. And all of us, oh God, will be safe in our in the air. We'll be safe in the sea. We'll be safe on the road. We'll be safe on the land. We'll be safe everywhere we go. We'll be safe in our houses. Thank you, Lord. In Jesus' name we have prayed. Amen. Hallelujah. Psalm 112, 1 to 2 says, Blessed are those who fear the Lord, who find great delight in his commandments. Their children will be mighty in the land. The, the generation of the upright will be blessed. Praise God. We are those who are born again, those, those who fear the Lord, they are blessed. 
So those who delight in his commandments, they are blessed. And this is their blessing. That their children will be mighty in the land. That the generation of the upright will be blessed. This is our, this is our portion. This is the will of God for us. And verse 7 says, Then we have no fear of bad news. Their hearts are steadfast. Trusting the Lord. We know you have bad news. But our heart has steadfast. Trusting the Lord. We know our fear. We know hear something bad. Hallelujah. Mataka, but let's thank God now for his word. In Psalm 112. And let's receive that blessing. Thank you, living God, for your word. Psalm 112. You say, bless are those who fear the Lord. Lord, we fear you, Lord. Who we'll find great delight in his commandments, Lord? Who we'll find great delight in your commandments, Lord? You say our children will be mighty in the land. God, our children will be mighty in the land. In the name of Jesus, our generation will be blessed. That way, your word says, Oh God, in the name of Jesus, Father God, thank you, Lord, because we don't fear bad news coming to us because we know we trust in you. There will be no bad news. Twenty twenty, there will be no bad news. But your word that says our children will be blessed. That one we see in the name of Jesus. Your word that says that we that fear you will be blessed. That one we see in the name of Jesus. Because take what we are on 2020. 2020 is a year of joy, a year of grace, a year of blessings, a year of God's protection. 2020 is a year of peace, a year of promotion, a year of safety. 2020 is a year of love, a year of miracle, a year of testimonies. In the name of Jesus, 2020 is a great year. Thank you, living God. We bless 2020 right now in Jesus' name. We bless that year right now in Jesus' name. Brother, we shall grow upon it in the name of Jesus. We enter it gloriously. We enter it victoriously. We enter it miraculously. We enter it in a great way. We enter 2020 joyfully now in Jesus' name. We declare and declare every day 2020 shall be a day of testimony, a day of miracle, a day of victory, a day of triumph. A day of joy, a day of more blessings in the name of Jesus. We bless 2020. We bless 2020. We bless 2020. Mata Kaba Soto Nobogo Santo Nobogo Shete. It's full of blessings for us in the name of Jesus. Mata Kaba Santo Nobogo Shete. There shall be no death, there shall be no loss, there shall be no sickness, there shall be no disease in the name of Jesus. Thank you, living God. We worship you. In Jesus' name we have prayed. Amen. Thank you, Lord, for hearing our prayers, Lord. We know you have heard us already. As your word says, be only praise, O God. In the name of Jesus Christ, we have prayed. Amen. Hallelujah. Thank you for joining me. Pray. Remember, bless. See you next time. Bye.